to the importance of temperance i'm katie and i hope that wherever you are in the world you're doing super well i've come on very quickly today because i'm super excited about this deck i didn't think that i was ever going to be able to get this deck but i finally have been able to get my hands on it through mpc so make playing cards now this is called the mystic masters and it is the second edition of the cards created by Danny Mystic, who is on YouTube. Now, i seen this deck, oh, I want to say, over two years ago. And I was super inspired by it. And ever since, I've kind of like wanted a deck that has kind of this classical, you know, art, like medieval art sort of. And... Um, and I've been looking for that deck because when I initially saw this deck, um, Danny had just released it. And I want to say it's like two and a half years ago or something like that. But she only kind of did very limited runs of it. And for me in Australia to get my hands on it was super, super hard because either it had already like sold out or the shipping costs were super expensive or there was a reason. I can't recollect it now. Long story short... The other day, I was looking, looking, looking for something, 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 <laughs> as you do, right? In the start of the year, you're thinking, what do I want to introduce into my tarot collection that I don't really have? Uh, I want to be kind of mindful. I want to have something a bit different, a bit, you know, like quirky. And um, I was looking at all these kind of tarot decks. I really like the Serpent and Peacock, the Art Edition. Um, but that, again, is super expensive. And then I was having a look at the Ritual Tarot, which I absolutely adore. But it's like 180 Australian dollars. I mean, seriously? And then I was looking at the Terra Volatile, or Terra Volatile, as you would say, in... Um, English and again it wasn't quite what I was looking for and then I thought oh hang on a minute but at the at the beginning of all of this was Danny's deck that I'd seen her walk through and I was also kind of looking at the um the other world's tarot as well but there is just something about that tarot deck that it's beautiful but it just I don't know i like press the button to go purchase it but I've kind of stopped because there's just something about it that I like but I don't like if that makes sense so anyway I was inspired to go on to Danny's channel and um, just have a look at the walkthrough of her deck and lo and behold there was a walkthrough of a second edition which is this little beauty here and the kicker is that she had her own make playing cards and so hello I went straight away immediately and I purchased it and this arrived yesterday in this little cute pack box it doesn't have a guidebook it just has um, this little insert and it says here 78 card tarot deck by Danny Mystic and if you want the guidebook you can download it um, and just a little quote so yeah I'm gonna do that it actually took like about 10 days to reach me not that long and I am in the process of edging it as you can see with this kind of turquoise color because cards have got a lot of like turquoisey blue in there and um these are the backs it's a linen cardstock it's very thin but it really shuffles nicely now these are called uh, the mystic classics because it's classical art and then what Danny's done is she's gone and collaged on top of that and put colours in there and just added bits and pieces of her own volition. So she's gone and added these little splotches of paint and done these really super cool things. And I absolutely love it. I love it. And... 
you know, I, I love kind of the fact that it's kind of on this linen-y stock. It is a standard um, tarot size. Fans. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit bigger. And I would say that the US Games cardstock might be a little bit thinner than that. I feel like this has got like a core to it. And they are thicker <laughs> than the Tarot of Crowley cardstock. So I can't complain about that, my friends. Yeah, so I'm super excited about this deck. I'm really loving it. And um, this is one of my favorite cards, the Nine of Cups. Look at the expression on this guy's face. He's just read something here that said, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm coming into something. I'm winning. <laughs> I think this is like one of my favorite sun cards ever. How cool is that? Love, 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 love this temperance. I love the colors. Love, 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 love this moon. Maybe this is not one of my favorite ones, but you know, it is the Five of Swords after all. This guy here seems like he's got a lion face or a cat face. <laughs> Look at her face. How cool is this card? Look at this high priestess. I love the fact that she's carrying the veil with her. Four swords. And I just love the font. You know what I mean? I just love the way she's used like this type a uh, set kind of font this is the hangman so the hangman classically is not upside down it's always been portrayed and um, as him standing up so i love that and i love the addition of the either the planet or the astrological sign to the mages yeah so this was the inspiration when I seen this deck, I just said, oh my goodness me, I just have to have this deck. And I've then been on the quest ever since, I guess, to find that sort of perfect classical kind of art deck. And I've never found it. So I'm so super stoked that I did go back onto her channel that day and discover that the second edition and she's modified it and added things and you know cleared up a few things and added some colors and i mean and i just love the fact that you know it's muted but at the same time it's got these pops of color three of cups four of cups look at her she's just so over it just leave me alone, right? <laughs> Don't know what's going on with his page of coins, but like his, that expression is like, and so, so stoked that I've got the stick in my collection. I mean, look at them lovers. Look at the colors. How cool. I love the idea, I love the concept of it, I love the, the addition of her bits and bobs, you know, that really kind of like contrast the old artwork with kind of new, new artwork or art forms. I mean, this Two of Cups is so cute, I love it. Ah, oh, the devil. You can see him here. He's kind of hidden, but you know, he's like whispering to her here. The fool. Yeah, guys, as you can see, they're not in order because I um 
I just couldn't um, not play with them or hang out with them a bit and, and mix them all up. I mean, Ace of Swords, I love it. Look at this Ten of Swords. I think this could be possibly my most favourite Ten of Swords of all times. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands. Look at this Empress. I love this Empress. And if you've seen a few of my videos, you know that I really enjoy a powerful Empress. And this gives me powerful vibes. That's strength. Emperor. I just love these pops of colour, you know, like she's sort of, I don't know what medium she's used, you know, if that's watercolour or something that she's gone on and added. I've seen this artwork, this somewhere, this couple here. This is the Ten of Coins. Six of Wands. Moon Victory. The Nine of Coins. Justice. Ooh. I love these two swords. The hermit. I like the hermit. And also they're kind of like a bit cloudy and a bit kind of like not focused. And in the sort of daytime, you could sort of say that they're a bit dull. But then when you actually have them in the light, you see the pop of colours coming through. Look, I'm so, so stoked. I really am. I love this deck. Well done, Danny, if you're watching this. You've done such a great job. What a star. So excited! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful deck. The Magician. I'm struggling to find like a card that I really don't like in the deck. Ah, oh, see, I love this tower card. Look at that, the five of coins or the five of pentacles. Struggle is real, people. Four of wands, look at this death card. How cool. Ace of coins, the wheel of fortune. I love it. Queen of Swords. Love that Queen of Swords. How Queen of Swordish is she? Ace of Cups. The World in Purple. And Ace of Wands. So like stoked. Yeah, I think it works. I think the edging works. So what we can possibly do is some pairings with other cards and I think that they would sort of work well with the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Are we in frame here my friends? No we're not. Move that over a bit. Oh, yeah. Hello. Look at that. Energy and the sort of colours as well. Wow. Ace of Cups. Ace. Yeah, that works, right? Safe travels with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yes, that totally works. For me, that works. Letting go, Queen of Coins and the Seven of Wands. Confidence, the Wheel of Fortune. 
and the three of swords new beginnings hello the fool ace of coins oh my goodness me so they kind of work don't they all right so another thing that could possibly work let's see sorry this glare is glaring isn't it let me just move this over here for a sec is my oracle of the radiant sun they've kind of got the same feel right yeah i think they work i mean i feel these work with most things anyway Page of Wands, Exaltation, and Ace of Cups. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in frame here for you. I can see that it's not really that in frame, is it? So you can't see. There you go. That should be better now. Flattery. Ace of Swords and the World. Yes. Yes, yes, I like, I like this pairing. That works for me. And then, Le Grand Tableau, Lenormand Oracle Cards. Now, I use Lenormand as Oracle Cards and not as like a Lenormand system. And I think that with these ones, which are the sort of like the creamy ones, the old fashioned ones, they might kind of work as well. See? Clover with the Queen of Coins. And the Seven of Wands, the colours. Mountain. Yes, I like. I like Ace of Swords, the letter, and the world. Oh, Ten of Swords, the book, which is the knowledge, and the Ace of Wands. Heart. Yes, I like I like that as well. And last but not least, let me pair this with Tarot of Yasin Guzlev. or Guzlev. And this is the Majors only. And because I find that it's a bit of a classic. Do you know what I mean by what I mean? The devil. Yeah, that can work too, can't it? That's the Six of Cups, Judgment and Death. Oh, look at that. That is a devil. Temperance and the Four of Wands. Six of Coins, the Hierophant, and the Five of Coins. Wow. Looking good. Looking good. So that could possibly work too. And another tarot deck that I, I think that could possibly work well, which is a bit of like a tongue-in-cheek, is this one here. The Ferrant Pintar. Oh, the Ferrant Pintar deck. It's more modern. But I think it could possibly work, you know what I mean? Look at her face. 
such a bitch. I mean, it's so dramatic. And the colours work, right? So dramatic. Yeah, I really like that actually. <laughs> yes, very good, very good, very good. All right, so those are some of the pairings that um, I feel that could possibly work with this deck. I just wanted to see with you what my fave card could possibly be in this deck. I love the Magician. I do love the tower. I do love the star. Oh, the Queen of Cups is pretty cool. Judgment is awesome. Love the Hierophant. Oh, love her. Wheel of Fortune is pretty cool as well. Queen of Swords is very potent. This is very cheeky. I mean cheeky in the sense that, that he's like taking the piss a bit, I feel, here. <laughs> I think maybe this Six of Swords is my least favourite card in the deck. The Lovers is great. Can I... And maybe this expression gives me, throws me a bit for a loop. Maybe that too. I love that for a four swords. Okay, I love the high priestess. Maybe I don't like his expression that much. Love this moon. Love her. Love this. Love that. Love that. All right, so let's have a look. So I think... These kind of like are my like least favorite cards of the deck. Maybe this page of cups. I just think he's a bit. His expression is a bit dopey. The card is a bit dark. Okay, so maybe that's my least favorite though on there. And let's have a look. I love this line of cards. I love Temperance. I love the Moon. I love the High Priestess. I love the Empress. I love the Star. I love the Tower. I love the Magician. But I think this, the Sun card. So the Sun card is my most favourite. And my least favourite is the Page of Cups. And that, my friends, concludes this walkthrough and first impressions of this wonderful deck, which is called the Mystic Masters by Danny Mystic. And I will link the information below if you want to snag yourself this deck. Highly recommend it. 
and thank you so much for watching for subscribing for liking let me know your thoughts on this deck and until my next one ciao Italy.